want to feel healthier and stronger than before? Well, start your New Year's resolutions with Titan Medical Center. We can help you feel better, look better, and perform better. So don't procrastinate. Call or text 727-389-3220 or you can visit us at www.titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? John here from Titan and right now I'm going to go over and we're going to go to the storage bins, huge storage bins full with a ton of Titan stuff. Titan gear, Titan equipment, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm gonna go over there and look and see what we got. I'm gonna start getting stuff ready for like the giveaways that we're gonna do in Las Vegas at Olympia, December 15th to the 18th. So if you're out there, stop by and you might be able to get some of these exclusive items that I'm gonna go pick out or see what we got. Plus I'm gonna do tons of giveaways throughout the week and this next week. And if you guys do want to buy any of this stuff, it'll be on the website or you can call or text and say, listen, I want that sweatshirt or I want that beanie or whatever it is you see that you like. So come on with me. Let's take a drive. And let's go over there. Let's go. <laughs> Side, see what we got in these units and pick some gear up too. Oh yeah, nice little drive over here. Alright, so we're here. What's up man? How you doing? You good? Good. We got here. Woo! Oh, these are awesome. Check these hoodies out. These things are so fresh. Tight Medical Center hoodies, man. You guys want some long sleeve? These are really light ones too. Really, really nice. Big common bag. I love these things. So stretchy, so nice. Alright, so we're done with this locker. On to the next one. Awesome bag here of all my Titan gear that we're giving away. And some stuff for this week and next week so I can give away some patience for the holidays. Gotta love that. That's an awesome bag, man. These bags are great. Look how much stuff this thing fits. It's huge. I'm gonna have to take this on some trips with me. That's one thing I don't do is I don't carry a Titan bag with me. Sure. Yeah, right? I need to. Got everything else tight now. I mean, might as well have the bag too. <laughs> there it is. Woo! So if you look in here, all you're going to see is boxes. These boxes, these ones in particular, are bags, blue bags. Those boxes are all t-shirts. Um, I think there's like 3,000 there. And then I've got these nice medical beds for the next location or where we're going to be. So now we're done here at the storage lockers. Let's head back over to Titan headquarters and get everything situated, put away, and get ready for our next giveaway. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Woo! So we're done here. Time to go back over tight headquarters. Get all this stuff put away, get ready. Let's do it. Come on over here, we'll put this bad boy in the trunk. So one 
thing I like about this thing is it's got such a big trunk, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. Got my bag. We're good to go. Alright, let's head inside and get ready for this live. Hi, I'm Cherise. I'm one of the owners of Titan Medical Center. I'm a full-time mom, a full-time entrepreneur, and I work many, many hours throughout the day. Ask me how I do that. Well, my Titan Medical Center therapies get me through my day, give me the energy that I need to make it through my day, and also burn fat throughout the day while I'm sitting at my desk. So, my Titan Medical Therapies in the morning is my ECA Stack Plus and my Titan Up Injectable. And it's gonna help me focus, burn fat, give me energy, put me in a better mood, and help boost my immune system. So, get your tight medical therapies today. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are here at the 2022 Olympia Expo here in Las Vegas. And I'll tell you what, day one is already action packed and Titan Medical Center is definitely taking over like usual. Booth has been slammed all day long. And we're only about one o'clock. We got four more hours of this expo just today. It's a Friday nonetheless. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be even bigger of a day. So we're really expecting some big, big crowds here, especially the Titan Medical Center booth. It's awesome to get to see all our fans, supporters, athletes, friends. It's been a great, good experience so far. How you guys doing? We're doing great, uh, Las rocking Vegas. It. Yeah, we're yeah, rocking it. Yeah. Eagle, how you doing? Great. Yeah, you doing great. Work? A lot of work. <laughs> how you doing, Destiny? I'm doing amazing. guys so day one wrapped up we came we conquered like true titans do the crew did an awesome job out here tending to people coming up answering questions giving away those t-shirts and getting a sign from the ipad hopefully you guys are here experiencing olympia 2022 in vegas as next year goes to orlando so enjoy vegas right now day two tomorrow is gonna be even more action packed we can't wait so come with us join us if you're not here don't worry we're gonna give you all the behind the scenes video and all the cool content to come with it so stay tuned. Team Titan, baby!
day two, we've had so much people, there's so many people come up to the booth, whether they're patients or people that are wondering what type medical center does. So if you guys don't know, we do everything from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, peptide therapies like healing peptides, sexual peptides, and weight loss peptides, and also blood work. Plus we do a lot, lot more. So anything that's going to make you feel good, look good, and perform better, that's what type medical center can do for you. Plus we service nationwide. So if you guys ever want any of our services, all you got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. And at that point, we are spreading the Titan word here. Everybody is tight and strong. We're getting it on. So we're going to enjoy day two. And you guys just sit there, relax, and watch all the great content that we got coming towards you guys. We love you and stay tuned. Let's do it. Medical Center to me is uh, the foundation uh, helping change patients' lives. Uh, John and Sharice are the owners. I've known them for a long time, my whole life practically, and uh, saw they, what they bring to the table as far as putting patients first and providing uh, the, the best patient care for all the people that are involved. And, uh, you know, Titan Medical is hard work and dedication. They start from the bottom to the top and uh, they continue to grow. I'm so happy to see the, the results. Thank you. Yeah, Titan to me is a lifestyle. I've been with Titan for like 10 years and they've been, they've been in control of my health, my weight, my blood work, everything for that and um, it's good it's, it's, it's to keep me very very young I'm 52 years old right now and I feel like I'm around 35 so I suggest each and every one of you out there just sign up get your blood work done join Team Titan and let's get it going Someone just asked, what is Titan to me? Titan is basically everything to me. Community, health, wellness. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel happy, you know, it keeps me a lot of energy. They're always right there when I need them and they're like a family to me. I love Titan, it makes me feel good. I love the experience, I love our therapies, I love the actual company as a whole, the people. Titan to me is family, uh, coming together to empower one another, uplift one another, bring out literally the best that you can be and uh, being a part of a community dedicated to do so and help others as well. Um, I feel like that is what Titan is to me. They're friendly. Um, they just want to see you succeed. They want to see you have your health. And so that's exactly what Titan means to me. Titan for me is family, hard work, determination, dedication, like discipline, not just in your wellness lifestyle, but basically everything that you do around your life, honestly. So it's a family, like a huge family. We all love each other. We all support each other and we really enjoy each other's company. I'm John. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, guys. What's up? And we are here finishing up day two of Olympia 2022. And you know what? Type Medical Center came out. It was awesome. We got to meet so many people and actually a lot of different patients from around the country. And we got to talk to a lot of different people that didn't even know what Type Medical Center did Very or cool. what they could do for them. So they all signed up. 
got t-shirts, rocked those t-shirts. A lot of people took off the shirt they had on at that time and put the Type Medical Center t-shirt on. And you know what the other thing was, was all the blue bags all the way around the expo on both days. Yeah, I love, I mean, I can't tell you how much I love seeing the blue bags everywhere, which means I want to give a super shout out to our team Titan. That's right. All of our girls and our guys that came out, they rocked it, they did a great job, interaction was wonderful. I'm very proud of our team. Awesome. We only can, can accomplish this as a team. That's and right. I think we all did an amazing job. That's right. It's all about teamwork and Titan Medical Center is all about family. And you know what? They work together like a true team today. And uh, they got the job done. You know, this is our first rodeo and it won't be our last. But you know what? Every event, we keep getting better and better and better. So I'm really proud of the group. I'm proud of this event. And you know what? We're just going to make it even better next year. So if you missed Olympia with us at Titan Medical Center, don't worry. It's coming back to Orlando next year. You can come visit us at the booth, get some free cool giveaways, and maybe even talk to us, take a picture, and say what's up. So that's a wrap for this year, 2022 Olympia. We're done. We're out. We came. We conquered like true titans, and we'll see you next year. We'll see you then. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. We talked about New Year's resolutions last time and to make those New Year's resolutions is to stick by them. But some people, they, they really didn't know what their New Year's resolutions want to be about. So you know what, we want to give you guys some good suggestions to, to help you guys improve your life, maybe your relationship, and overall quality of life. Like, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, whoever it may be. Whoever loves you yeah. and you love them. Yeah, we want to improve, <laughs> you know, the overall environment, whatever it is. So here's some different things that you guys can look into and possibly do. Then we can give you guys some examples possibly. So let's talk about it. So the first one is give it a compliment every day. One compliment every day. Either to your loved one, a significant other, maybe a coworker, or whoever it is. This is going to improve their day most Probably, right? Yeah, probably improve your own just for being positive. Yeah. You know, listen, I'm negative Nancy, and the cup is always half empty for me. Thank goodness <laughs> John's cup is always half full. Yeah. So we make the perfect combo. However, you know, it's nice to give out a compliment every once in a while, even to your loved one, like, oh, I like your outfit, or, oh, your hair looks nice today. It could be the silliest thing that you actually do notice, but just maybe consciously give a compliment to anyone, yeah. you know? Anybody. I mean, this is it's a pretty simple and easy thing to do. It doesn't cost you anything either, right. right? It's just you, you know, telling something, one nice thing to them and improving their day and possibly yours, right? And like Sheree said, being positive. We have enough negativity out there and oh, what boy. we're dealing with in day-to-day -day life, right? With coronavirus and masks and people and all this other good stuff that we're dealing with day-to-day. -day. So improve by positivity. That's one thing I, I really, I really do believe in. The second thing is, go someplace you've never been before. Where are we going? I don't know. I got to figure out where we can go and what the mandates are and all this other stuff. <laughs> How many swaps we need to get in there? <laughs> we need one before the plane. We need while we're on the plane. Yeah. We need when we get off the plane. We need when we get to the hotel. Yeah. I mean, geez, by then my nose is gonna be bleeding. Yeah. So <laughs> at this point, you know, look up, you know, look up where you guys want to go and see what it takes to go, uh, what you have to do, and all the hoops you got to jump through. You know, before it seemed a lot simpler, right? All you had to come up with was the money, <laughs> and then you know, pick the place you want to go and the airline you want to fly on. And most likely you were going to have a pretty good trip. You know, now there's some there's some different things and obstacles you might have to go through. But still, go to some place you've never been. And it doesn't even have it to be out of state. I was just going to say, it doesn't even have to be out of the country or no. out of the state or cost you a bazillion dollars. No. You could go somewhere you've really never been. Like never been. maybe a restaurant you guys have never been to, yeah. you know, venture out. That wouldn't be me and John because we go to the same place no matter what. <laughs> or the same food. We've been doing it for literally 15 years. It's Consistency's quite, key. Quite, quite sickening, actually. But... <laughs> Um, but you know, just do something you've never done. Maybe go to a trampoline place, right? Yeah. Maybe go to a laser cool. tag place. Maybe yeah. go do something. I don't know, just anything. You can go in the. They have this little, like a tree hopper type deal, and you can like you know glide across these trees, whatever. I don't yeah. know. 
you can go anywhere you just have never zip ever lining. been. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, zip lining. Yeah. Um, but do something fun that you've never done before. Yeah, I mean, one, just one thing. Just pick it and, and go do it, right? Uh, go to that place, create memories. You know, I'm not saying keep your camera on the whole time. Take a couple of pictures, though. Maybe when you get there, maybe one picture while you're there and one picture when you guys are leaving. At that point, you guys are creating memories that will last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And this is key. Like, every year you guys can look back, remember we did this? And kind of like, oh, wow, cool. Like, because, you know, not that you forget everything that you do, but, you know, some things might take precedence of what's going on in your everyday life at that point, And you're really not remembering some of these other good memories that you had. But when you have those photos and you look back on them, especially with the loved ones or person you're with, you're like, man, this was a great time. Yeah. This is really, really fun. We need to do something like this again. Mm -hmm. Right? And that, that's really, it's really, really key. Um, so the next one. Work out or be active to feel better. Mm -hmm. Not just to be thinner. A lot of the New Year's resolutions out there, people are like, I want to lose weight in 2022. Right. And I can that totally understand, this. you know, because, you know, COVID put on an average of 29 pounds on the average American last year in 2021 and 2020 at that point. So, you know, people are, you know, maybe a little bit more heavier than they used to be or thicker. And some girls or guys want to be thicker. So, hey, listen, you got your wish. But at that <laughs> point, you know, really be active to really feel feel better, like really feel healthier. Right. Or, you know, you feel those endorphins start kicking in. You know, that's that's a really good feeling. You know, not just to get skinnier or leaner or whatever it may be. Now, this might come along with the activity, so you might get, you know, might kill two birds with one mm -hmm. stone. But at that point, really, really focus on just feeling better. And that's what the activity is all about. Or being healthy, right? Because, I mean, listen, yeah. let's face it. We got this, like, COVID strand B, C, D, 5, yep. 5, 4, 4, 2, 2, 1, 5, 2, 2, 3, 4 coming next year, right? <laughs> so um, with this coming along... You want to be healthy because, I mean, ultimately, not to say if you're healthy, you're not going to possibly get something or you're not going to get sick, but you're less likely, right, to get sick. Yeah. If you can build up your immune system, be healthy, take your vitamins, do what you need to do, try to eat right, and, you know, just not get and get sleep. Really, yeah. got to get sleep. But yeah, really, working out is just, it does, it, it helps with everything, whether it's, you know, lowering cholesterol because you lost the weight, you know, hypertensive issues. There's a lot of different Blood things. Blood sugars. There's a lot of different things that can, it can affect directly. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you're going to benefit from, from by being active. You know, that's, it's key. Being active is so important and people don't understand this. Um, and that's not just, you know, sitting around watching TV being active. That's you actually being active, right? Moving, uh, running, you know, jogging, you know, climbing or, you know, anything else from working out, uh, rope climbing, rock climbing, obstacle courses, uh, you know, all these different things out there. There's a lot of different things you can do, even when it's cold outside. You guys can go out and be active. So you guys don't have to live down here in the beautiful sunny weather of Florida like we do. <laughs> thank God. But, uh, you know, I've lived up north, too, and you can definitely be active outside and still enjoy yourself quite a bit. It's really true. So the next one, and this goes across the board for everybody. Look at one way to progress or upgrade your life. Mm. One way you could possibly do this. And this could be as easy as you reading a new book every month. Yeah. Even if you don't like reading. <laughs> read, a, read a book. If you don't like reading, you can listen to Audible books. Yeah, I haven't effect. tried that yet. I heard it's like so pretty cool. Literally, you could be driving or you could be working out. You could be walking, whatever it is. You got your AirPods in, you know, you're on your radio or whatever it is. And you can listen to these Audible books and you can learn something. You know, there's different things from, you know, like adventure books you can listen to or you can listen to instructional books and learn how to build something or, or learn how to do something like or that. Or speak another language. Yeah, I mean, listen, even if you don't like reading, go on to YouTube and don't just look at all the garbage YouTube videos out there, but actually learn how to do something from YouTube. And there's tons of videos out there that will give you great information on how to really learn how to do something new that you've never done before. That was the best thing about YouTube, I thought, in my mind. You could go on there and you can learn a new skill or language or something different that you've never learned before. And like previous, like when we didn't have the internet, we couldn't do that. You actually had to go to somebody that knew the information. They had to actually <laughs> teach you how to do it. Or you went to a book and tried to read it out a of a library. book. library. Right? A you library. To, yeah, you went to a library. You had to go scroll the thingies. You had to scroll, like scroll, to look scroll it the up numbers, the little where the number thingy. was at, go down those aisles. Yeah, then you had to like wheel the thing <laughs> like this, right? And you talking about go, the aisles moving? Yes! <laughs> Because then you didn't wheel it, you know? And that, now it's like you just, it's so accessible. Like, it's almost like, it's kind of insulting that yeah. the generation that is on the uh, on the come up. Yeah, the new generation. Um, yes. It's a little insulting that they have all this at their fingertips, yet they're just 
sometimes so incredibly lazy. Yeah. So, I mean, let's call it what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because you guys know that I'm very yeah. straightforward. So there you go. It's straightforward laziness. Um, but, you know, but back in the day, we had to go somewhere and do something. And, you know, yeah. may, maybe that is, like, who, why we have been built into these animals that we are today, right? Yeah. But, you know, the best advice I can give the next generation is you have it at your fingertips. Oh, man. I mean, you have Google, YouTube, I mean, whatever tubes and whatever other Googles and sites. And it tells you everything. You, it's right then and there. Boom, boom, bam. There's no excuse. You can literally find an answer by typing it in within like two minutes on Google. I know. I it, it's text. crazy. That's even faster. It, it's really crazy because before, literally, you'd have to go to like a textbook or an encyclopedia or whatever it may be. And it, listen, and this is this is a real simple and easy thing that we, you know, I guess we would take for granted, or we did back in the day, or now we take for granted. If you don't know how to say a word or pronounce a word, <laughs> we'd have to go to you have to go to the dictionary or whatever it may be, and then you have to see it, and then you'd have to like try to. You know, F- you know, say it out, right? say it out loud. You're like, all right, do I have this? Am I saying this right? Because you might think you're saying it right. Go out there and, and still like say it is, wrong, and then you but say it's wrong. stupid. Yeah. But literally, you can go to Google right now and be like, all right, pronunciation of this word. Bah. And Play. it will say it to you. And then you can repeat it right back, and you can get it right down. You've just learned a new word. Yeah. Um, you know, my big thing when I was in high school, and this is what my English teacher instilled in me. I didn't instill this in myself, so, so thank you. <laughs> but um, you know, he he made us he made us learn new words every day. Had to learn at least one new word every day and come to class and be able to say what that word is, say what the definition of that word was, and use it in a sentence. This really upgraded my vocabulary tremendously. And I think that's what's missing nowadays. If you, if you look at the slang and everything like that, these kids are saying, do you know what cat means? We had to, I had to, I had to, we had I had to, to look up that. what cat means. Because my son's like, man, that's cat. That's cat. I'm, I'm like, like, what the hell is cat? A cap? Is that like a baseball cap or something? <laughs> it's like, you're capped off? Are you cat? You cap? So, you cap, can't go cap? Cap actually means like lying or wrong. So I had to, I looked this up on Google. Within one minute, I had the answer. It's like, yeah, I know what cat means. And no, that's not cat. Okay? So you've just learned something new today on our show. That's how easy it is Don't to learn that word, new guys. things. Okay. Don't use yeah, that, please. Because yeah. these slang words... Uh, or, or just garbage, right? Like, what it was, I mean, come on. Even the way that they're like using half of the word to say the word, like for, via text messages, like you're like, oh my god, like these shortenings of the word, like where'd you guys? You I think guys I can't even say I think, the word. I think I've even come up with like just like saying perf <laughs> instead of perfect, right? Just perf, you know, like and it's it's just a, maybe it's just a habit for me now, right? But. I, I usually do just talk to text and it all comes out just ro- just right. Except every <laughs> once in a while there'll be that one word that comes out and it's like uh, I didn't mean it back. That that is not what I meant to say. <laughs> but so, so yeah, learn something, right? Yeah, um, be know, smarter. Be smarter. It, it's all about upgrading your life in every way, shape, or form, right? Not just materialistic things. We'll be back every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. We'll see you every Sunday. Make sure you guys DVR if you don't watch it live or check out YouTube.com. Type in Titan Medical Center and you'll see this video and all the other ones we have for you guys. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye.